I'm going to talk about 3D to 2D coordinate transforms. So the 3D to 2D perspective transform, we've already seen this, but um, we're going to show a more uh, compact way to describe these with using matrices. So we've seen um, uh, we need to um, project a 3D point XYZ to a 2D point. We can do that with by multiplying it by a 3 by 4 matrix. Uh, essentially all we're doing here is we're getting rid of this last one and producing a uh, three-dimensional vector here without the one. So if we treat that as a point, a two-dimensional point in homogeneous coordinates, of course we have to divide through by that last element so we get the familiar x over z, y over z as our image points. And recall that, you know, that's from similar triangles, that's the formula for the image coordinates. Of course, we have to multiply by the focal length f. So we can incorporate the focal length f by multiplying by a matrix with f in the diagonals like that. So you wind up with a three-dimensional vector which represents a two-dimensional homogeneous point and of course remember to divide by the third element like that. Okay so this matrix um, where we put the F, the focal length, we call the intrinsic camera matrix and what we're going to do is we're going to put all the intrinsic camera parameters into that matrix. So um, F we could use f, um, if we don't have square pixels, then we have a different um, focal length in um, x and y, which we put in these elements. And this is the uh, center of the image at pixel location cx, cy. So we put all that in matrix K. So to project 3D points in camera coordinates onto the image, we multiply by that 3 by 4 matrix, which gets rid of the 1, and then the intrinsic camera parameter matrix, which is a 3 by 3. And of course, we have to divide by the um, third element here. Okay, so we can, treat, we can also uh, look at the extrinsic camera parameters, which is essentially the pose of the camera, the position and orientation of the camera in the world. So this is the uh, transformation from world to camera. Uh, that's the rotation matrix there and the position of the camera here. Um, so if we simply got rid of this fourth row in that 4x4 four four matrix, we'd get a 3x4 three matrix and it would look like this with the 3x3 three three rotation matrix here and a 3x1 translation here. So be careful about the uh, direction of these transforms. Okay, this is the world to camera rotation and the world origin in camera coordinates. Okay, so we can call that the extrinsic camera parameter matrix. Um, a lot of times um, it's awkward to know the position of the world in camera coordinates. We might know the uh, position of the camera in world coordinates. So we can write that element, um, we can take the negative of that and convert it to camera coordinates like that. So often you see the extrinsic camera parameter matrix written like this with a 3 by 3 rotation and a 3 by 1 uh, translation here. So just a little repetitive here, but the to project a 3D point in world coordinates to a point in the image, we multiply by the extrinsic parameter matrix, which is the 3 by 4, and then the 3 by 3 intrinsic matrix. And of course, divide by the third element here. OK, let's do an example. Um, I had that problem earlier where we had a robot vehicle and a sensor on it, and we were looking at a world point. So let's think of that situation except instead of a uh, range sensor we're going to use a camera there. Okay so it looks something like this. So I had the world in the corner 
and this was uh, X and Z and that would mean Y would go in right and then I had my vehicle whose coordinate system was like this um, X pointed forward Z pointed down um, and Y would come out and then let's say I have my camera up here with its Z forward its Y down and X points toward us so that's my C frame and we were looking at a point on the ground over here so um, we found from that um, problem that the position of the world point, the position of the point in the world was a 16 0 um, minus 1 uh, 1 okay. and we also had that the um, vehicle to world transform was given by 1 0 0 5 0 minus 1 0 0 0 0 minus 1 1 and that's just the usual 0 0 0 1 down below and then we had that the camera to vehicle was given by 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 2, and then the usual fourth row. Okay.